Fuck up ball would be canceled, but it looks really good. The air quality is pretty good. More than 100,000 concert goers at the three day governor's ball at Flushing Meadows Corona Park this weekend are thrilled that the smoke from the Canadian wildfires diminished enough to green light this festival. It features Lizzo and more than 60 other acts, including Kendrick Lamar, Lil Nas X, and Odessa. Green is my favorite color. I don't like seeing yellow, orange, certainly not red, but green when it comes to weather and health is always a good thing, and I've been wanting it to trend that direction ever since I heard about a Canadian wildfire. I'm just happy that we're there. Other outdoor events like the Puerto Rican Day Parade and the Belmont Stakes have had to monitor air quality conditions. The horse race was under orders from the governor to cancel if the air quality index was 200 or more. That's the purple zone on the EPA's airnow.gov chart. Instead, conditions were way down in the green zone, a very good rating, the healthiest air, the same as at the governor's ball venue. I don't think there's long-lasting damage because the exposure was relatively brief when you consider a person's lifetime. Lenox Hill pulmonologist Dr. Len Horowitz treated many of his asthma patients earlier this week because of the air quality that was dangerous for all of us. But the doctor says the good news for those who do not have underlying health issues is that there appears to be no long-term damage to the lungs from the smoky conditions we all suffered through midweek. Probably over a lifetime, there's no residual damage from three days. Living with air pollution chronically, of course, can cause lung disease, cardiovascular disease. Uh, but three days of what we had uh, was certainly caustic to the eyes and ears and throat, bad for pulmonary patients, but probably has no lasting effect. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.